In 2015, a major earthquake struck near the sacred Kathmandu Valley of Nepal. About 9,000 people lost their lives. Almost 22,000 were injured. And all of the survivors had their homeland destroyed. In six different World Heritage Sites of the Kathmandu Valley, structures that carry the memory of a nation, that host ancient rituals which make up everyday living for its residents, were lost. Kathmandu Valley is home to monuments that have allowed the members of a deep-rooted culture to maintain their beliefs, traditions and rituals in places they created for many centuries. The geological setting of the valley points to the existence of a lake near Chobar Gorge on the Bagmati River, below the today's Pashupatinath Temple, which was a pilgrimage place during the period of the Buddha. As a result, the valley that was created was fertile and people started cultivating here and building their homes here. As the valley grew, Manjushri is said to have worshipped Swayambhu on the hillock where the present Swayambhu temple is located. Located in the foothills of the Himalayas, the Kathmandu Valley World Heritage property is inscribed as seven monument zones. These monument zones are the Durbar squares or urban centers with their palaces, temples and public spaces of the three cities of Kathmandu, Hanumandoka, Patan and Bhaktapur and the religious ensembles of Swayambhu, Baudhanath, Pashupati and Changu Narayan. On the 25th of April 2015, a 7.9 magnitude earthquake struck Middle Nepal, 80 kilometers northwest of Kathmandu. The earthquake and the aftermath resulted in disastrous loss of human life and extensive damage to the historic monuments and buildings of the Kathmandu Valley World Heritage property. Gorkha earthquake of 2015 was not the first earthquake of such magnitude to occur in the Kathmandu Valley. A major earthquake strikes the region every 80 to 100 years. After the Bihar earthquake of 1934, experts had been anticipating another earthquake to occur in the early 2000s, and they had been striving to make preparations to minimize potential damages. Architect Kai Weisi, president of the ICOMOS Nepal, is one of these experts. Weisi was among the prominent figures who had been working for the protection of the cultural heritage located across the Kathmandu Valley World Heritage Site, for which he has long been a part of the protection efforts and their residents against the devastating impact of the anticipated earthquake. Unfortunately, the earthquake hit before the mitigation efforts could be completed. So the current efforts are focused on preventing the loss of the damaged cultural values and their reintroduction into daily life in the Kathmandu Valley. We were actually preparing for this earthquake. Uh, however, it seems to be very difficult to prepare for an earthquake. Uh, there are certain things that one can be ready for. There are other things that possibly you only understand once you've experienced the earthquake. And uh, so when the earthquake did strike in uh, three years ago, yesterday, we realized that some of the things were, were exactly how we had envisioned it to be, while there were other things that uh, we, it was something totally new and the whole experience itself. So in a certain sense, we can plan out systems of response. We can talk about how to prepare in respect to equipment and it's sort of more sort of the hardware, but uh, the personal experience is something you cannot prepare for. And I think it's this trauma, it's a slight trauma, even if you don't realize it and you know, you're still feeling good, the earthquake has affected you. I'm so overwhelmed because this is a 
This is what we uh, identify ourselves, like our Nepalese, with the rich heritage and culture and everything. But this is what is tangible, you know. This is what the other world sees. And seeing this, and we were like, people are grown up with this surroundings and when you see this it's it's like you cannot like uh, define and I, I feel so sad do you think it will be rebuilt yeah yeah of course but I don't know if it will ever be the same within that uh, 72 hours uh, however we could not do a lot at that time because uh, the humanitarian field is always comes in the first row first priority. Most of the people, most of the volunteers and most of the uh, state uh, mechanism was uh, mobilized for the uh, humanitarian uh, rescue. Uh, that uh, really that 72 hours is very very important not only for the human beings but also for the cultural heritage and other uh, sometimes for the natural heritage as well because in the natural heritage also uh, there are many kinds of the animals uh, due to the disaster that would be most uh, uh, important for, the, for them as well. In such a situation, uh, heritage and other things always ignored because uh, if you have life then you can uh, create or you can do anything else. We went to the site and also uh, assessed some uh, to figure out uh, how the heritage was damaged and which heritage was uh, affected by the earthquake and identified uh, some of the uh, damaged heritage within uh, four to six hours. So it was very, very important time uh, for the rescue of that. Uh, before rescue, you have to identify or assess uh, this kind of the things. The temples in all seven monument zones of the property were severely affected and many of them had collapsed completely. Where structures have collapsed, many of the carved and ornamented elements that manifest the symbolic and artistic values for which the places are inscribed on the World Heritage List have been salvaged just after. Obviously, on the first day, immediately after the earth, we have local people and they are um, concerned about also tape. And some of the important pieces, it was immediately put inside the museum courtyard for safety, which was uh, uh, all the gilded pinnacle and the statue of the king. So it was done immediately after the earthquake, you know, before I came to the square. On fourth uh, day, we agree like we have to collect the thing. We slowly started, and uh, we have like uh, local uh, clubs, local stakeholders, uh, department of archaeology, and the municipality. Um, then on fifth day, we have the army came with the bulldozer. They run the bulldozer to clean the square, to clean the axis also to rescue some of the people from the rubble. And here we don't have any casualties on days or any people like, uh, you know, trapped inside. So I told them like, uh, you should not use the bulldozer because when you run it, it will destroy all the artifacts. Then we cannot reuse those pieces. Uh, but it was difficult with them because, you know, their job was, which I understand, their job was uh, clean the axis. I think this is something I also like to talk, like we have lots of training to the army, police, and the, you know, like where, which unit should go where after the disaster, let's say after the earthquake. But they are not trained how to preserve the heritage. So that is, I think, lacking in the system uh, because uh, they, they don't want to think about the, you know, the pieces um, uh, in the rubble they want to clean the axis. And it took like a few phone calls, I know like high officials in army and also he talked to a few of his um, officers and finally they agreed to not run the bulldozer. And I said, if you can really help, we like your, uh, you know, we want your help to pick the any single usable piece from the rubble. And they agree that, and we have like uh, more than 300 police, army, armed police force, like hole in the square 
like picking up. So everything was like sorted out and picked in like 10, 11 days. The religious ensemble of Swayambu includes the oldest Buddhist stupa in the valley. That of Baudhanath includes the largest stupa in Nepal. Pashupati has an extensive Hindu temple precinct and Changu Narayan comprises traditional Nuwari settlement and a Hindu temple complex with one of the earliest inscriptions in the valley from the 5th century AD. The majority of historical sites that sustained damage in the Nepal earthquake are registered as World Heritage Sites due to their tremendous universal values. Thus, the use of international protection techniques is crucial. Another crucial point is the preservation of the local rituals and beliefs related to the use and restoration of the structure, even if it is for emergencies. Although there are officials who are technically responsible for the preservation of the zone, direct contribution of the local community that resides in the zone in all relief efforts is highly important for both overcoming post-distress trauma and committing the lessons on how to respond to another possible disaster in the collective memory. Uh, जति पनि यहाँ हेरेका जति पनि यहाँ चाहिँ सबैलाई यहाँ मान्छे आउन दिने हेर्ने यो सामानहरु कलेक्ट गर्ने यो मूर्तिको चैत्यको गुम्बाको सामान एक ठाउँमा मिलाएर राखिदिने र वहाँ नै हुन्छ भन्दा पहिला यहाँका प्रिस्टहरु र इभन त हामी चाहिँ भोलिपल्टमा आउन पायो अब भोलिपल्टै हामीले पनि यहाँ काम सुरु गरे अब यहाँ मान्छेहरु सबै यहाँ बस्दा खेरि चाहिँ फर्स्ट चाहिँ उहाँहरुले आफैले पनि यहाँ केही सामानहरु ल्याएर यहाँ चाहिँ एक ठाउँ बसेर सेपरेट सेपरेट हुने सबै जना चाहिँ यहाँ कुनै फ्रेश फ्यामिली एक ठाउँमा बसेर एक ठाउँमा पकाउने एक ठाउँमा खाने वा सबै ठाउँमा एक ठाउँमा बसेर चाहिँ काम गर्ने भएको हुनाले हामीले जे काम गर्दा खेरि पनि सजिलो हामीले पायौ अफ कोर्स भूकम्प हो कुनै बेलामा चाहिँ अब त्यस्तो चाहिँ प्रकृति विपदा आउँदा खेरि चाहिँ सबै जना एक ठाउँमा बसेर चाहिँ काम गर्न पर्छ सबै जना एक ठाउँमा बसेर चाहिँ खाना पर्छ वा के सघाउन पर्छ सहयोग गर्न पर्छ भावनाले नै सबै जना एक ठाउँमा बस्न सक्यो सिगरेटले अब त्यसले अलि गाह्रो भयो हामीलाई किनभने अब मान्छेहरु त भूकम्प पछि त सुरुमा के भयो कस्तो भयो हेर्न आउने मान्छे पनि धेरै थिए त्यो टाइममा र हामीले सुरुमा हामीले भनिहाल्यो नि त अब हाम्रो पुजारी परिवारको सबै कुराहरू मिलाइसकेपछि हामीले सबभन्दा पहिला चाहिँ रिक्वेस्ट गर्यो महासमितलाई र महासमितले हामीलाई धेरै कुराहरू हेल्प गरेको थियो यहाँ सुरुमा र उहाँले रिक्वेस्ट गरेपछि उहाँको थ्रु थ्रुबाट सघाउन पहिला हामीले सिक्युरिटीको व्यवस्था गर्यो सेक्युरिटी व्यवस्था गरिसकेपछि मात्र बल्ल हामीले के गर्यौँ नि जुन ठाउँमा डिस्चार्ज भएको व्यक्तिहरूमा छिन्न मिल्ने ठाउँमा हाम्रो पुजारी परिवारहरू राखेर डिस्चार्ज भएको पुजारी परिवारहरू पनि सबै पुजारी परिवारसँग डिस्चार्ज हुँदैन अब डिस्चार्ज भएको पुजारी परिवार मात्र राखेर हामीले सबभन्दा इम्पोर्टेन्ट ठाउँ भनेको हाम्रो चाहिँ नि शान्तिपूर्ण मन्दिर शान्तिपूर्ण मन्दिरमा हामीले पहिला त्यहाँ धोवा खोलेर हेर्यौँ त्यहाँ खोलेर कि फर्स्ट तपाईँको अगाडिको जुन वाल छ नि टोटल त्यो तपाईँको कोलास भएर चाहिँ धोकै खोल्न नमिल्ने अवस्था हुन्थ्यो त्यो टाइममा अनि हामीले चाहिँ त्यसलाई चाहिँ सबै पुजारी परिवार बसेर एउटा मिटिङ गरेर कसरी गर्नु त्यसलाई भन्ने हामी चाहिँ एउटा कुरा भयो त्यो पछि हामीले चाहिँ त्यो मन्दिर बिस्तारै अगाडिको बस्न पग्ना बसेर जति पनि थिए तिनीहरूलाई हामीले बिस्तारै हटाएँ र त्यहाँ चाहिँ तपाईँको इम्पोर्टेन्ट के थियो भने त्यहाँ चाहिँ एउटा मिरोल पेन्टिङ थियो जुन काठमाडौँको बारेमा थियो पेन्टिङ त्यो पेन्टिङ पनि बुझाउनु थियो हामीलाई अनि त्यही भएर त्यो सबै मिलाइसकेपछि अनि बिस्तारै त्यो खोलेर हामीले चाहिँ त्यसलाई व्यवस्था पनि गऱ्यौँ हामीले पहिला अब त्यो कुरामा चाहिँ कस्तो छ भने सबभन्दा पहिला अब काम गर्नु अगाडि त हामीले निहास पूजा र सिंह पूजा गर्नै पऱ्यो त्यो पूजा गरिसकेपछि हाम्रो पुजारी परिवारलाई नै राखेर उहाँले कुनै कुनैलाई चाहिँ अब ट्रेनिङ अलिअलि भएको पनि छ होइन अब नभए घर त हामी बाहिरै बस्थ्यौँ र जो तपाईँको डिसेल लिएको व्यक्तिहरू उहाँहरू गएर भित्र गएर काम गर्नु जानेले काम गऱ्यो म यहाँ काम गरेको चाहिँ काम गरेको चाहिँ महासमितिमा काम गरेको चाहिँ छ सात वर्ष भयो यो मन्दिरमा काम गरेर चाहिँ मलाई धेरै खुसी छु जस भारी बोके पनि एकदम मलाई खुसी छु मन्दिरमा काम गरेको पनि धेरै अब These monuments were defined by the outstanding cultural traditions of the Newars manifested in their unique urban settlements buildings and structures with intricate ornamentation displaying outstanding craftsmanship in brick stone timber and bronze that are some of the most highly developed in the world for the locals these buildings are places they visit for the better part of their day an ordinary part of their daily lives they are the creator of the deep roots that act as a bridge between their past and future. 
If these tangible values that stand as an expression of culture and tradition are destroyed, the intangible values defining the practices carried out in these places too will face the risk of extinction. You know, link the tangible and intangible heritage because uh, all these um, monuments, all these temples, they are built because of the intangible heritage because people need to worship the place. It was not like, a, I believe, you know, when it was built, of course they want to make a nice thing, beautiful thing, but their intention was make a house for the God. So it's the house of the God, what we call temple. Right? So still today, let's say there are several temples, one of the oldest temples which is built in 1560s. Right? It came down completely. Uh, and after 10 days, when we clean the rubble, so it was all covered. So when we clean the rubble, rubble, we saw the image, then we clean around. Next morning when I came, people are already worshipping there. The place itself is important because it's a holy place, you know, as people believe. Very important, you know. We are Hindu people. is very important. There is a many, many. It's uh, born in, uh, it's uh, you know, Shiva in Ganesh and temple there. You know, many things there. You know, after we restore this temple, let's say our craftsmen will seek to the different project. I also look on the different project. I maybe hardly come back here, right? But the people here, they have to continue their. Uh, you know, whatever ritual activities, you know, they will do that. So this is why the community has to be together. And also community is from the beginning, after the earthquake also, we already have, you know, community as part of our group. So they know what we are doing. So in future also, they should understand what, if something happened, you know, they also know what they are supposed to do that. So I think this is kind of, uh, you know, not a preservation work in, in the physic, uh, physically on the temple, but somehow you need a kind of awareness to the people. You know, this is very important. I think what we really haven't been able to deal with over the last three years is trying to accept that it's the human factor and it's this trauma, uh, and no one has really talked about that. We have to start learning a new language and a new approach to, to understand these buildings and, uh, and the linkages to the community and traditional uh, um, uh, sort of usage of these, these structures and the significance is very much related to the communities. And it's not a question of reconstruction and I think that is the big point we should possibly even stop the, using the word reconstruction. We're trying to rehabilitate. It's a recovery process which will take time. To have a community that still knows how these uh, structures uh, were built. We still have the artisans. We still have the people who believe in you know, the rit rituals and they actually implement uh, these things. We're actually looking at continuity and not conservation. So we're not trying to stop things from changing or taking it back to a certain uh, situation as in the past. But we're looking at trying to identify what it is, this continuity, that we have to make sure links what we do to the past, but that is also something that links to how we deal with things in the future. Hey, यो हाम्रो यो मेरो पुर्खौली पेशा हो मेरो बाजे बराजु देखि आएर चाहिँ अहिले सम्म यही पेशामा म लगायत मेरो छोराहरुलाई पनि मैले स्टेज सिकाउँदै छु यो यहाँ लोचोकको यो टुडाल हो यो यसलाई कुनसल भन्छ हाम्रो नेवारी भाषामा कुनसल हो यो चाहिँ छाना अड्काउने टुडाल हो यो छानाको अब यो पुरानो र यो नयाँमा किन यो नयाँ बनाउनु भएको भनेर जुन भन्नु भएको you put on open it, any of Kami, no lagne, or what's another family, no abonone. Come lagne, Hunjil, and you put on only Amli Salakas home, Rakas homely. Come in no lagne, or what's matter, you amle, no ya, you rahako. Over you amle, you know, you come yesterday, Gorilla on Akirimalai, 
धेरे नहीं गर्व महसूस भैर जो ये परंपरागत जो पुर्खा को पुर्खा ने बनाई रखे जो संपदा संरक्षण कर पाऊँ हमें बना पाऊँ योग हमें प्लस हम आत्मनिर्भर भर काम कर ढुक्को सर हमें परिवार जो छोरा छोरी पढ़ा छोरा हमें यही सीप सीका हमें जो पुर्खा हस्तांतरण भाषी काम करना धे गर्व महसूस भैर मैं ए हो यो तो यो टुंडाल भाई है टुंडाल पैला पैला हमारा मेरे बुआसम मैं रामस था यो यो मूर्ति सब बनाई सके जब यो फिट कर अगड़ी ये सब क्लियर काम सकाइ सकाइन ये बेला यो आँखा खोलना हमें पूजा करूँ पर्च पूजा कर हम अब हिंदू को हम जो नेवारी परंपरा अनुसार पूजा करें तेज जीव दान दिने जीव दान दिने भाई ताकि यो हमी सानों सानों बेला हम बाजे भनी रखे हमें कठन सुने यो कुशल राति तो मध्य रात में कराँच अरे तो कराने उसको कारण के होना खेल कुछ तो मंदिर में तो मंदिर वरीपर तस्त नराम कुछ घटना घटना खोजो है उसे संकेत दिशा चाहिए हम बाहर तक भाषा अ हमें खास करने तर हम खलक भि भाई करने अब यहाँ कस्त हमें काम अर्डर दिने जो काम दिने जो तरीका अनुसार छेन तस्त पूजा बने अब हम जो पूजा करने तरीका हम था टीका लियाने अंडा भैन चामल अचेता फूल प्रसाद टीका होनी अगर हम कस्त प्रचलन पैल्य देखा रहे जी टूल्स हो सुरू में बिहान स्टार्टिंग में हम काम कर खोजाखे हमी इस धोक् हम है लास्ट में आज को दिन इंडिंग हो समाप्त करने बेला तेरे भाई ये सब सोरे हम इस ढोक् भगवान लो हम आगम देवता तो भगवान समझे तेरी ढोक् हम अब ते में हमी चैलेंज बने वर्कमैनशिप को मैं लगे ते भर चाह हम जो अब अब बनाने क्रम में ढिला सो फील भो अब कह स्टाट करने हो यो जहाँ हे कुछ बिल्डिंग डैमेज नईन आती तईपन अब सुरू तो कतईब भाई लगे तो क्रैक भैर कसरी करने भाई कुरा भैर तईपन हमें एवं प्लान ब्रेड पुनस्थापन योजना बनाएर तो अनुसार हम काम करते जाने तो बिना चाहे काम कर सुरू करने भाई नहीं था तो पैला बोनस ते पच्चीस हम क्रमबद्ध रूप में यह हनुमान ढोका विकास समिति ने काम करते जा I think uh, the lesson that we have learned, uh, where we have actually gotten stuck on a lot of the projects, is that we haven't been able to uh, to really get the artisans to become sort of the ones who decide on how we restore. So uh, it's always been, uh, as the system shows in the government, it's always the engineers and you know the educated and all the experts who come in and say, okay, this is how we're supposed to do it. Uh, we have big discussions, but we are never really quite sure how to do it unless we demolish it and rebuild it totally new. But it's actually the artisans who know how it's done. The artisans know all the wooden connections and how it actually be, needs to be built. We still have such artisans who are able to, uh, to, to really understand these structures. And uh, possibly one of the lessons is we have to get them to be uh the ones who ensure this continuity and they also have that knowledge and we have to ensure also that this knowledge is passed on to the next generation in response to the extensive damage to the property of the earthquake and aftershock the world heritage center and the advisory bodies recommended that the world heritage committee inscribe the property on the list of world heritage in danger during the 39th session of the world heritage committee on july 2015 the state party nepal government requested postponement of danger listing in view of the enormous efforts made after the earthquake for protecting heritage the uh, government of nepal has been insistently working for the conservation reconstruction and rehabilitation of all damaged cultural heritage following the devastating earthquake of 2015 turkey very much appreciates the efforts and commitment of the nepali authorities in the way for recovery of the property after the catastrophic earthquake occurred in 2015 we believe that the nepali government 
has the capacity of doing its best with further international support. We would also like to underline the danger listing could only contribute to the recovery works and safeguarding of the property as long as the international community puts its generous support to the Nepali authorities, but it is not the only option to gain international support. The images that we have seen on Katmandou this year, the year before, and still on Bonn, nous rappelle malheureusement les images que nous avons vues hier et avant-hier sur Damas, Alep, les villes syriennes, les villes du Yémen, etc. Dans un cas, c'est la folie des hommes, dans l'autre cas, c'est le déchaînement de la nature. Personne n'est responsable. Il ne s'agit pas de dire que le gouvernement syrien, les, le gouvernement népalien, le gouvernement du Népal, le problème n'est pas là. C'est un problème de déchaînement de violence. Ce n'est pas les spécialistes de la réhabilitation, ce n'est pas les spécialistes des antiquités, ce n'est pas un problème dû à des projets de développement, ce n'est pas des décisions, ce sont réellement des phénomènes graves. D'un côté, une violence politique due aux hommes et de l'autre côté, une violence de la nature. Bon. Je ne, je, dans ce cas-là, je ne comprends vraiment pas les hésitations à dire de ne pas inscrire ce site ou ces sites sur la liste en péril. Donner du temps, oui, lorsque un gouvernement a fait, par exemple, un projet de développement qui met en, en danger un site et qu'on lui donne du temps pour réviser ce projet. Mais dans ce cas-là, ce n'est pas les gouvernements qui sont responsables. Dans ce cas-là, c'est la nature ou la violence des hommes qui sont responsables. Donner du temps à quoi et à qui Visiblement, les, les effets des destructions sont beaucoup plus grands que les capacités des gouvernements locaux de pouvoir le faire et de pouvoir réagir. At the 41st session of the World Heritage Committee meeting held in 2017 in Krakow, Poland, in consideration of the remarkable and selfless efforts by the locals and heritage experts in the preservation of collapsed and damaged cultural properties, Kathmandu Valley was once again included in the list of World Heritage.